What's going on, y'all? This is your boy LSF Ride 254. We tune in for another one. Uh, headed to the gym this AM, man. Uh, a lot of great things coming for the channel. Uh, I figured out some stuff that was going on with uh, my uh, streaming setup. Uh, had something to do with the bit rate or something like that. Um, so what I do plan to do is um, get that optimized so we can get that going for the uh, for the giveaway. We almost there. Um, also, I just want to kind of show y'all the difference between these microphones. Um, I'm gonna split this video in half. <clears throat> Not two videos, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna cut it uh, when I get to the gym, so that y'all can see the difference between uh, the mono and the uh, damn belts. Seat belts, buckle up for safety. You heard it here first. Yeah, so just making sure that you uh, making sure that you're able to tell the difference. Now, this microphone is on the external mic. We got rid of that noise, but at the same time, this is a mono recording mic. Um, and we want to record in stereo. Now, the way that you can tell the difference between them uh see the the new video the video micro we just bought um i don't know if you can see there's two identical stripes there's two stripes on there you know what i'm saying and that's how you can tell that it's stereo left and right channel versus just um just left or right or just mono um, the mono is going to have one stripe. Uh, when I switch over the microphones, I'll show you the one stripe that is on this microphone that I'm using now. But it is an option uh, that is accessible and usable and it sounds a lot better than your internal microphones. So, what you can do as a solution, uh, you can duplicate. You can, uh, you can duplicate. You can duplicate the one audio track and then you can make it into a stereo track uh, for your specific software. Um, I used to do it in Sony Vegas. Um, I haven't actually done it in uh, Final Cut, but I will figure it out and I'll get that to you. Um, probably going to go ahead and step up the 4k as well um <clears throat> i think that i think that i have my video producing um ability to the point where you know the because con content is king you know what i'm saying like it's it's good to have you know 1080 or, or i mean the all these videos are 1080 um, it's good to have, like, oh, I'm 4K. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Can y'all even see it in 4K if I put it in 4K? You know, I don't want to be... Like, 4K, you know, it's it's an ability to see. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I, I can run it in 4K. Um, I wasn't going to do the... Either, either I'm going to go 2K... Look, 2K. Either I'm gonna go 4K or I'm gonna go 40 I'm gonna go 4K 30 frames per second or I'm going to go 1080p 60 frames per second. Now the 60 frames per second is gonna give it like that real buttery smooth um joint. But nine times out of ten the timeline um the ten the ten, the, uh, the timeline just has to be different. I'm saying because usually the timeline when you edit in is 30 frames per second. 
But you can adjust it, you know, if you go through in the settings and all of that. So if y'all want to kind of know how to fool with that, man, let, it, let me know and I'm make a video, basically. Uh, I'm somewhat familiar with a lot of this because this is what I do um, for clients. Like, I'll shoot. I shoot commercials, uh, I shot like one music video, but then the dude changed his mind about using the video. I told him it was my first one. It actually didn't look too bad, but you know, people are picky. And I mean, he only paid $50, you know what I'm saying? After I told him that I really didn't want to do it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So, like I said, um, I'm gonna split this up two, two ways. Uh, I really don't got too much more to talk about. Just gotta get in the mode, get off in the gym and handle my business. So uh, when we come back uh, after these messages, we will be uh, on the road video micro. Remember, nah, not, not yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, and I'm back. I'm at the gym. Uh, I'm actually finna head over to the grocery store, man. I gotta get some salad and some milk and some other little things for the house. Um, now we are we look we linked up on uh, are we hooked up to the video micro? Uh, let me show you the um, the one thing I was talking about. Uh, between the difference between the mono and the stereo microphones and how you can identify them. Uh, if you remember uh, just a tad earlier, um, the stereo micro, the ro the video micro has, you know, stereo pickup left and right. Uh, as you can see on this one, it has one strike. One stripe right there you can see and that's what's gonna help oh that's why you know it's it's only one channel that is that sounds better over the whole you know those internal microphones of this gopro in this case for me other people haven't had an issue with it i'm not exactly sure why but i don't have an explanation all i got is a solution I identify my weaknesses. I make them my strengths. I know that the audio is an uh, issue on the channel, so you know I had to do what I had to do so I can make it do what it does uh, to have a better thing. Get the fuck out of the street. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes I got to get out of character. Dude is walking down the middle of the damn thing like he a car. Like, get the fuck out of the way. Um... Yeah, so that, that's the biggest thing, man. Just being able to show y'all, uh, well, I'm saying that quality difference. Uh, I did order that other case. It should be here tomorrow. Uh, and then that way it'll, it'll hold a microphone like right above the thing. Uh, I'm thinking probably in the car, being that I'm right here, not moving, I'll probably go with that mic setup. Um, where I'm like mic'd up outside of the vehicle uh, I'm gonna probably go with this here um, because the video micro is gonna be like if I'm holding the GoPro like right here this far away from me that's where the microphone is gonna be so it's gonna sound a lot better than it was you know before I picked up the mic and moved it closer it was like over here, you know what I'm driving with is just kind of sitting over here. It's not really a place to put it. But if I bring it closer like this where the, you know, where the GoPro's gonna be, I'm looking at the GoPro, I'm talking to y'all, woo woo woo. Know what I'm saying? Then it's a better audio. So couple audio setups to make it better for us. And I say us because we in this together. Make sure you go like this video, make sure you comment, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, please push the like button. I don't know what it really does. 
<laughs> analytically but a lot of other youtubers say it so i'm gonna be like please go push that like button i was saying it'll really help me out <laughs> yo i know y'all seen the other youtubers like they start the video off like that like please go press the like button it'll really help me out i mean i, I ain't knocking on those i just go about things a different way man like if if you like the video, you gonna like the video. Like, I ain't gotta be like, please like the video. But then, you know, sometimes it might just slip your mind. So, go like the video. It's your boy, <laughs> LS7Ride254, signing off. Identify your weaknesses and make them your strengths. Gone.